Welcome to another video. My name is Sander and today we're at Acre at the east end of Algonquin Provincial Park. Stick around till the end as I'll exactly show you why this is one of the best spots to get peace, quiet, get experience as close to interior camping without actually going interior camping. In addition to that, there are so many nice things to do here that you don't want to miss, so stick around till the end. Acre is located on the east side of Algonquin Provincial Park and roughly a six hour drive from Toronto. Acre is one of the places where you can go as close as you can to interior camping without going interior camping. So from a facility perspective, there's not a lot. First of all, cell phones, there is zero service with any of the providers. Acre is about a 60 kilometer dirt road in, and as a result, there is no service whatsoever. So if you want to bring your cell phone, if you want to work from the campground, Acre is definitely not for you. The nice thing about the campsite itself is you're on Grand Lake, and everywhere you look, you have information like this where you can learn about the history of the park. So if you're interested in learning more about the history and the environment itself, Acre is a very good pick for you. So here's the main park store. It's a very small store, but it does have your typical merchandise, your badges, your sweaters, but it does have some ice cream and some chips as well. If you're really in a pinch for some snacks, you can get them here. And while here, it's obvious to say, but put your stuff away because they are bears in the area. Now, Acre is also one of the spots where a lot of interior trips start. And as you can see here, right in front of me, they have installed cables everywhere. So you can hang your food to avoid the bears from getting it, which is pretty cool. I've never seen that before. There is a little cabin behind me that shows you more information about the area. So let's go check it out. We enter here, the light is on the timer, which you can learn all about the history of the park. And you can sign the visitor register. As you can see, quite a few people have already done that. Acre is a very small campground with only 45 sites, all are non-electric. It's radio and generator free. And if you're in section 20 to 40, they're pet free as well. There is no comfort station in the park. You do have a couple of flush toilets like the ones behind me. The nice thing is they are flush toilets, not the hole in the ground style. This is one beach. Now, as always, no dogs are allowed. And this is right on Grand Lake. As you can see, there's some nice waterfront sites right on the beach. Because you are in the middle of nowhere, there are no hydro sites whatsoever. The additional thing is because it's a 60 kilometer dirt road in, be prepared for your vehicle, and specifically if you take a trailer like we do, to be extremely disgusting. Our trailer was just brown after we made our way in. And to be honest with you, I'm not quite sure whether we would do this again with a trailer or just come back with a tent alone. Just behind the store, there's another little beach with a volleyball net. And of course, overlooking the beautiful Grand Lake. And here is the dock where you can dock your boat. And over there, that is our site with waterfront access. Here again is the store and the volleyball net. And over there in the distance is the first beach that we just visited. One thing to add to all of this, it is a generator free campsite and a radio free campsite as well. And the spots for 20 to 40 are also pet free. So if you want to bring your dog out camping, don't book a site there. There is a theater here and what's ironic, it's a generator free campground, yet the generator for the theater was running at all hours of the night. Garbage and recycling is located right at the entrance of the campgrounds. If you'd like to learn more about the park and the area, the history, you're in luck. There are information signs literally everywhere throughout the campgrounds. 
This was our site for our stay, site 44. It's a nice, large, big site directly on the water with a fire pit located close to the water. If you want to do camping but you don't have a trailer and you don't like tenting, there are some yurts as well, so that's always an option. This is the old railroad. And as you can see, trespassing is illegal. Yet I know quite a few people that bike this all the way to kiosk, so I'm not quite sure what they did, whether they just didn't follow the rule or whether they got permission. But this railroad bed takes you all the way through Agonquin, all the way up to kiosk where video right up here if you're interested in learning more about another park that is very private very similar to this one over here is the second beach with a nice little picnic area with some picnic tables and some barbecue so if you want to have a nice shore lunch this is a very nice spot to do it One of the must-do activities here is to explore Grand Lake by kayak, canoe or stand-up paddleboard. There is one trail to Jack Pine where the famous Jack Pine by Tom Thompson has been painted. A short drive from the campground is Baron Gang, and this is the parking lot here. There are some washroom facilities. And it's a very short trail, but you get a very nice view. You are visiting a cliff, so if you have kids, be careful. So right behind me is Barren Canyon. It's about a hundred meter cliff, so about 300 feet. It's a little trail, it's pretty steep, but uh, the view is so worth it. I guess I wouldn't say I'm if I don't want to do that. But also, I'll be by myself. Right behind me is the High Falls Trail, aka the Natural Water Slide. This is the Cheetah Trail. The full trail is much longer. This is a much quicker way to make it to the falls. You can also canoe there. However, this is definitely the easiest way. There's a parking lot behind me. However, there's not too many parking spaces. So keep that in mind if you want to visit this place. But it's a lot of fun. So let's go. Two, hours later this is high falls it's about a 4.5 kilometer hike in the hike is nothing special but the destination is amazing it is a natural water slide oh the star you just said that <laughs> So definitely wear a life jacket, but it's a lot of fun. The next morning. So let's talk about Acre. Acre is a stunning, serene, quiet, beautiful location in the absolute middle of nowhere. As a result, there's no cell service, there's no trading facilities in terms of trading sanitation stations. There is no power. 
there are, is no bar at any of the sides but overall if that's what you're looking for this is one of the perfect parks to be as close to interior camping as possible without actually going interior camping and have the luxury of access to your vehicle your trailer and all your supplies without going into uh, the bush in the middle of nowhere the dirt road in is a 60 kilometer dirt road we did it with the trailer and to be honest with you i don't know whether we will do it again next time we may we definitely will be back and we may just bring a tent rather than a trailer because it's it's rough um nowhere did i do this post the speed limit as the road itself is is washboard um it's not the best quality of road but once you get there you have the experience you're looking for if you're looking to party and have a whole bunch of friends over perhaps not the place for you if you're looking for that serene that quiet that nature type as close to interior as possible this is definitely the place for you doing the bearing cane is absolutely stunning and it's about 10 15 minute drive outside of the park and 100 percent recommended it's a hundred meter tall cliffs about 300 feet and it gives you beautiful views over the river the other trail the high falls cheater trail you can do it from the campground as well but it's much longer the cheater trail itself is about four kilometers takes you to high falls which is just a very stunning area and if you're up for it it also doubles as a natural water slide so if you want a little bit more adventure definitely recommend it it's uh, it's a lot of fun it's a bit of a, a trek in definitely where bug spray the mosquitoes are absolutely relentless but honestly it's so worth it there are no showers there's no comfort station so if you do go here and you absolutely need to have your shower perhaps not the park for you if you're okay with just jumping into the lake and get clean that way definitely the park for you grand lake right behind me is just an overall beautiful lake beautiful area to explore and overlook with one of the many waterfront campsites there's a lot of history at the park as well the nice thing about it is there is signs everywhere there is even a tiny tiny visitor center that you can learn more about the area and the history and the railroad that used to be here so overall if you're looking for that serene close to interior experience as possible our cray is definitely it if you're looking for you know just a, a weekend getaway with some family and friends and have some drinks and party probably not the spot for you definitely don't want to work from here because there is zero service unless you have of course satellite phone and satellite internet but even then you still have no power to power all of that so if you got a lot of value out of this video definitely smash that like button it really helps to push this video out to a larger audience and while you're at it might as well subscribe it's absolutely free and that way you get notified of our upcoming adventures and there are so many more to come in addition to all of this if you're looking for another very similar park to Accra, why don't you check out this video here where we visit the north end of Algonquin kiosk where you can get a very similar experience here yet there are some key differences